Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my Let's Play on Xenoblade Chronicles 3. This is going to be episode 28. In the previous episode, we did a lot of gem crafting and took most of the episode reviewing gem crafting and, and a few testing along the end of it and overall just no progression at all. So I apologize about that. However, today we will be doing a lot of story progression. Um, one thing I do want to um, update you are is that I did a lot of off-screen grinding and I changed my class composition so it's a bit different than what you remembered it so I'm just gonna review it real quick I promise it's not, gonna be, it's not gonna be too long at all but as for classes we have everyone unlocked except for one so we're all missing one except for maybe uni and Tyon but we are close to unlocking all our class selections. We have Noah as the healer. He's going to be our medic gunner. And we have Mio as our tactician. Uni as our heavy guard. Tyon as our ogre. Lance as our zephyr. And we have Senna as the zephyr as well. So the strat here is evasion tanks. And the only reason why we have Uni as a heavy guard is because we need that topple from Ball Rush. I believe it's a topple. Yes. What I want to eventually get is one healer and two attackers. So I don't know how I'm going to structure that, but I'm probably going to get rid of... Actually, I don't know. We'll figure that out later, but right now this is the party composition. And for this one, I do want to note that the battle structure is a bit dynamic in this case. It's a lot of switching, so it may not be appealing to the eye. It's it's definitely a different strat that I'm not used to, but um, I'll figure that out later. Let's progress with the story we have. What? Let's see. We are going to head south through the Aegis Wilderness. Okay. Like I said, we're not doing any exploring. I am pretty much done with exploring for the time being. We are it's been it's been tabled and we won't be looking at it anytime soon. Let's see, it's over here. Let's just pick that up. I do in the end at the end of the day I do want to have a two two sword Sword mat, I think it's sword characters. So we're not gonna have an ogre. We can level the ogre up to 10, but we won't be using it. I just don't see, aside from its high attack, I really don't see a reason to use ogre. If it if they had more AoEs, I would probably use it, but it's all single target, just like a sword character. Um, I'm gonna say his name right, what is it? A sword fighter yeah as a sword fighter but the thing is if we can get it to where we have I believe either just one heavy guard then we can have two sword fighters and as soon as we get into that uh, that break topple days we can literally do massive amounts of damage as two sword fighters that's what 3k each side and that's that's the, that's the overall end go. I just don't know how how I'm gonna do that yet. Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm? It's special, isn't it? Your blade, I mean. Um. Sometimes one part of it glows why is that oh you can tell that's amazing it's hard not to oh right is it a secret no i can tell you
Noah, my man. He's still playing around with that little toy. Have you considered a knock-on weapon? You might actually get somewhere with that. Oi! You deaf or what, Noah? Garble? Noah, this is bad. <laughs> Not even a peep. Don't need to pay us any attention. Oh, please. I wasn't ignoring you. Once I finish this set, we can chat. <gasps> well, what were you saying? Noah! For dead weight, you're a right snuffing peacock! You... you slippery little mudder! Well, anything else? Nothing weakling! Blast it all! Oh, you get it now! Lance! Break it up now. Didn't know you'd be so petty, Garbo. <laughs> Ain't got no time for this muscle head. Wanna say that again? We'll settle this properly, in tomorrow's trial. Move it! Uh, Noah, are you okay? Don't let it get to you. Guys like that are the first ones to snuff it in a real battle. No, I'm not worried about him. I really can't call my weapon, though. I worry I'll end up being a burden. Never thought that here, not even once. Thanks. Kind of you to say. It's just the truth. Where are you going? To visit Riku, since it broke. The trial, it's tomorrow. I'm gonna need a new weapon for that. this magic sword lucky seven in distant past were seven legendary swordsmith pawn over course of seven years forged sword from seven types of steel no other sword like it in existing magic lucky seven let's please to give good cleave with blade and split clean in halves sure about that better not pull some you break it you bought it Sneaky sort of deal. Riku would never dream. Just put all of heft into mighty swing. Weird ask. Uh, sure. You want me to cut it? I'll cut it, I guess. Here it comes. Queen's beans. There's not even a nick in it. Friends surprised? Indeed. His most prized of swords. Even armor of Peronis. Get sliced to itsy bits. I think I'll pass. Pass? So you not have need for? Yeah, it's too strong. Hmm. Noah one lance and friends to kick buckets? No, what the spark? Same as letting friends die. No, it's not. If friends not fight, cannot survive. Sure, but I don't need to use your sword. Then, why no one not call Blade? It's not out of choice, I just can't. False. Riku see through like transparent. <sighs> Noah can call Blade. Just no big desire of fighting spirit. Riku? Hey, is he serious? <sighs> Noah? What the? All this time? Huh?
if death is not option, should live. Only way is fight like life depends. Thinking of self alone is way of coward. Though, Riku no feeling well. I'm afraid. Of fighting, you mean? Of this world. It's so brutal and relentless. And I'm afraid of what we might... become. Mate! Ho ho ho! Riku knew Noah was hero material. Huh? It true this sword possess incredible power. Might even rob enemies of many much lives, yes. But only those who understand nature of terror have right to wield. Eh, quoth Master Pon of Riku, anyhaps. Mm. So, if Noah can call Blade now, can still keep Lucky Seven, maybe in some kind of disguise. In different words, can turn it into sheath. Sheath? Can use it in fights like normal. But if ever push come to shove, time will come when Noah truly need Lucky Seven's strength. Then is only matter of drawing. When I truly need its strength. Exact. If Noah never lose sight of that feeling, one day such time surely come. That is, if I can master it. If felt a master, just give back. Can pick out different one. Ah. Right. Please not to feel specially indebted to Riku. Just take. No need for overthinkings. <laughs> okay. I accept your offer. Oh, and Riku? What is? Mind if I change the name? Me? Lucky Seven just isn't doing it for me. Did you end up picking? Huh? Um, name. Uh huh. You don't want to say? Or what? Is it that embarrassing? N no, it's not embarrassing. That's not it. <laughs> I'm getting strong emotional vibes here. I wouldn't say emotional per se, rather something I miss. You know, you're the second one that's noticed this weapon. Really? Is that something special? It is. And the first? Who was it? She's incredible. And we owe her our lives. All right, thought I was gonna have more time there. Changing the time. Well, speaking of time, changing the time. Go to systems, change time in the main menu to change the time of day to whatever you want it to be. All right, nice. Okay, let's continue with the story. We have 147 meters uh, that away. We're going south through Egist Wilderness. Okay, simple enough. Let's see. Again, we're not really doing any fighting or anything like that. When I grinded for my class selections, I I leveled up, I believe, maybe three or two levels. This will be sketchy. Yeah, agreed. What friends afraid of, hmm? 
I'm seeing signs of patrols. Was it Colony 4? Colony 4. Colony of Bad But Elites, led by a commander of great repute. Whole rest of Kevis acknowledge their superiority. Are you certain? This is Neil Valley. Right. Like Riku said. But how can this be? How can their zone of control extend this far out? Huh? Anyone feel that? <gasps> A quake? Hmm. No, it's... Over there! Monsters. Noah, look. That's Ethel. You said Ethel. You mean Silver Code Ethel. You know about her. Even in Agnes, the name has spread far and wide. Silver Code Ethel. A veteran soldier unmatched in strength. People would whisper about how she fell three colonies at once with just a hundred troops. Yeah, but. This is Ethel. We know her name. So? So, she helped us out once before. She was strong, but kind. She could still help. Noah? It might not work, but... Noah! It's all right. of helping you! This is far from all right. It's pointless. Sorry. I thought I could convince her. Should have known it wouldn't work. Taking cover. Very well done, Ethel. I do so love your loyalty. Now, the enemy is before you. Chase them to the ends of the world. Not a single one of them can escape. All right, here we go. I actually might change my tank to a attacker as well. Let's see. Can I do that with you? You can... Then I can have two 
agility tanks, but then I need the topple. Uh. Okay. You're equipped a jelly tank and you are equipped a jelly tank as well, but you can go as a okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. We're going for accuracy. I don't think so. Let's go for attack. We are going for straight attack here. Just going nutty in attack. That's all we want to do. There we go. Wait, sorry, my bad. Do we not have anything else to increase attack? Let's see. Boost damage dealt when attacking. Nope. By 30% for the first 30 seconds of battle. I don't really need that. Boost damage dealt when attacking higher level. We are a bit too high right now to take advantage of that. Boost damage dealt when attacking higher level enemies by 20%. 30%. Boost auto attack by 66%. I mean, that is decent, but we're really not looking for that right now when you're attacks. Boost damage dealt when attacking enemies targeting you bite. We don't need that. Boost damage dealt when attacking. Okay, no. Boost damage dealt by terrestrial life. Well, let's take a look at our gems then. We can get increased attack by 25. That's fine. Hmm. I don't have anything that increases my attack, do I? Accessories. I guess I can just increase the accuracy, you know? Nothing will hurt a little bit more dexterity. Let's go. Alright. Accuracy up. Silver belt boost attack by 25. Do we have a gem of attack? There we go. That's fine. We change over here. Let's get you with a block. Let's get you some block. 35%. That's fine. Let's give you... Let's start with some aggro, that's nice. I always like that, but it's not really needed. So if I don't do that, I can go with block, which is 40%. Mm. I don't really think I need to do that. Let's, let's leave it there for now. We're about to hit level 20 anyway, so we can just change it over. I just don't want anything to go wrong with the aggro. Cause that's just one last thing because right now our system is a bit too dynamic for me to pay attention to or to rectify any aggro issues so we kind of want to stray away from any of the potential you know having that issue right okay so we got we're not we're not dodging so there, he doesn't have any um either attack but that's all we can, that's all we got right now. Skills, we do want to fix his arts real quick. What? Is he still an ogre? I thought I was gonna change him over to something else. I want him to be an attacker. Oh, I guess we can't do that, huh? That's weird. Huh. Can someone else become an attacker then? Okay, let's give you as an attacker can you become a tank you can be a tank and there we go that's that works let's get that got that accuracy let's give you attack oh you're gonna get like 200 attack easy dude look at that easy attack 230 that's that's nutty that is nutty shadow eye edge thrust short strike that's exactly what I want accessories attack no, no, I want that gems to be attacked. There we go. And then, do did I change her? No, I changed him, right? Okay, speed demon, glowing ring, butterfly blade. That's what I want. I want gems to be agility, accessories to, yep, you're good to go. Let's see. I want block, yeah. Gems to be start aggro, art, solid stance, crash out. Crash out is a frontal AoE. Do I want that? No, I want... I want uppercut slash. There we go. We're good to go. Let's get it. Okay. What's going on? Okay, I see it. Here we go. Let's focus. Get over here. Group up, guys. Group up. There we go.
There we go. Get all our buffs up. Maybe get the daze. Okay, we heal. Who is low on HP? Is it Noah? Noah, how do you die? Alright. Gonna raise him. Thank you. That's good to hear. Can get that daze. Hmm. I don't know if I did that right or not. Where is my power up? Field of vision. Alright, and we are gonna get Maybe AoE heal. Let's group up before the AoE heal. Guys, come on. Come over here. There you go. Ah, he died. Well, that was pretty rough. Hmm. Well, I'm probably gonna fix my composition and then we can continue with the story. We're already 20 minutes, 28 minutes in, so we'll just do that in the next episode. Alright guys, that's it for today. That's going to be the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will be continuing the main story quest by escaping from Colony 4's attack. And maybe we get to see some more action from Silver Coat Ethel. I'll see you guys in the next one.